week two, day three, Wednesday, the quality is commitment. Commitment is so important to this curriculum. In other words, this curriculum is based on the fact that we believe you will develop commitment. You will become committed in finding the curriculum, developingcharacter.org. Finding the page, day three, page 22. Writing the answers to the questions. Every day, this is Wednesday. So Monday, you should have a plus or a minus on commitment. Tuesday, you should have a plus or a minus. Today, when you finish today, you put a plus or a minus up there. That's being committed because I'm gonna tell myself, you know, I didn't do it yesterday. That guy running the 5K and he's got the app that says couch to 5K. Whatever it said to do on Tuesday, if he didn't do it, he's got to put a minus. And he has to put why didn't he do it and what's he going to do differently today to make sure that he does it. And there's a million different <coughs> excuses for not doing something. And that's every time you make an excuse, you are not developing the habit of commitment. Well, I got a divorce because we just didn't get along. No, you do what you need to, to get along. You made the commitment to get married, you stay married. Commitment is the probably the most difficult, but without it, you're never gonna be the you that you can be. You got to make a commitment to do something. I don't care if it's make the bed every morning. And that's a great way to begin. I'm going to get up every morning and make the bed. I'm going to wash dishes for my mom one night a week. I'm going to make an 85 in algebra. Whatever it, might, it is, you write down the purpose and then you put the plan with it. And when you do put the plan with it, that's commitment. Uh, page 22, look at the story. Burn the ships. In 1519, Herman Cortez landed in Veracruz, Mexico with his men in hopes of exploring a new world. His men were weary and afraid of the unknown territory. To make sure, see, when they got there, his men go, well, if it doesn't work out, we'll get in the ships and go back to Spain. No big deal. You know, if it doesn't work out, we'll go back. So what did Cortez do? He burned the ships. <laughs> he burned the ships. So all of a sudden, he changed one quality in every man. They became committed to doing what they needed to do. And that's what each one of us has to do if we're going to be committed. We got to burn the ships. How many times have you heard somebody say, well, you know, I, I, I sure would like to win a state championship, and, and I'd like to, but if we could just win district, I'd be okay. Well, what are you committed to? That tells me that you're committed to winning district, but you're not committed to winning state. When you say, I don't know what it's going to take, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get it done. When I asked my wife to marry me, she said, I'll marry you on one condition. And... I couldn't believe that she was going to have a condition to marry me. Could you? I said, oh, what is that? She said, we will never speak of divorce. We'll never use that word in a sentence. We'll never talk about it. We'll never think about it. It won't happen. If we're going to be married, we're going to be married till death do us part. Well, over the years, how many times do you think one of us has said, Whoo, this ain't working. I need to do that. What about this? We're in financial problems. We're in credit card debt. We're doing this. We're, having, we're struggling with this. You just got fired or whatever happened. Don't you think that uh, it was thought about? But when you say you're never going to bring it up, that means you ain't never going to bring it up. Commitment? Exactly. That's what really what Mary was saying 49 years ago. Is Dennis, we're burning the ship. There ain't no going back. We're committed to doing this. And it's the same thing when you're down by 14 points in the fourth quarter. In the game, you got to win to win the state championship. 
no big deal. I don't know what we got to do, but we got to do something because we're going to win this. And you never give up. You see, the thing about it is if there's hope in the future, there's power in the present. Don't ever forget that. If there's hope in the future, there is power in the present. The question, what do you think was the response of the soldiers to the burning of the ships? What do you think their first response was? Uh, <laughs> I don't think they were real fired up about Herman. They said, I tell you what, Hernan, he's going to get us killed. And then somebody said, hey, I tell you what we better do. We better make this successful or we won't be going home. Well, somebody's got to step up, whether you're, no matter what you're doing, in a marriage or anything else, and you got to say, let's get this done. Number two, we all have to burn the ships in growing up. What do you mean? How different is that? See, we gotta, we gotta quit being boys and girls and start being men and women. We gotta burn those ships. Every human being has two ages, some three. You have a mental age and you have a chronological age. You may be 14 years old, chronologically, and you may be 28 years old, mentally, or you may be 28 years old chronologically and 14 years old mentally. The definition of mental age is are you willing to sacrifice a short-term pleasure for a long-range goal? That's commitment. Are you committed to that long-range goal well enough that you're willing to sacrifice a short-term pleasure? I'm going to make a 90 on the English test. I'm willing to give up TV on Tuesday and Wednesday night to do that. I'm willing to give up the cell phone and the social media in order to do it. That's mental age. That's the mental age. I want to lose 20 pounds. Okay. Are you willing to give up ice cream, Cokes, potato chips? Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to burn the ships. You got to burn those ships. If you've got a mental age and you're not willing to sacrifice that short-term pleasure in order to reach the long-term goal, you're a mentally, you're 14. I've had lots of players that say, Coach, don't call me a boy, I'm 18 years old. And I say, well, chronologically, you're 18. Mentally, I'm going to say about 11 or 9. You're not willing to sacrifice a short-term pleasure to reach a long ways goal. What is that? That's commitment. Number three, many people struggle with having the willingness to take the risk necessary of success. How does this story demonstrate the willingness to take risk? What did old Hernan do? He said, there ain't no going back. We're gonna take the risk. Don't be afraid of risking everything for the good things. Be committed. Developingcharacter.org. Page 22. See you tomorrow.